What's up guys? Got a new car here. All new drift car from Red Cat. It's the RDS 110 scale two wheel drive competition spec drift car. Um, as you can see, it looks similar to a car that's out there. It's not a licensed body, but still looks really cool. Uh, it's a whole brushless system. Got a gyro, carbon fiber, all kinds of goodies. Uh, let me show you like, all the highlights on the box. See the chassis design, carbon fiber, tons of steering angle coming in it. Uh, comes with some stickers and whatnot. There you can see all the different angles of the body. And it comes in two colors right now. So there's the uh, burnt orange and a slate gray. So if you get the gray one, you can match the, uh, the Scout that came out recently. So yeah, let's unbox this bad boy. Oh, on the back. Oh, it's a cool little rendering. With all the graphics and whatnot on there. So yeah. So we're gonna try this boxing a little different. Let's slice this bad boy open. Oh, there it is. Got a standard controller here. Obviously, you don't need a million channels for a drift car. It's got a cool little rubber wheel here, adjustments in here, the antenna, and all the red cat logos. Pop that off. And the body is all nice and protected and some plastic here. So it is a magnetic system on it. So you can see here in the front, kind of like the same little areas as the Monte Carlo has. It's got magnetic mounts on it. Looks nice. And it does have Light buckets built in already, so you can slap a light kit into it. Throw a little mount here. I'm not sure how many um, lights it has yet, but we will figure that out. And this bad boy zip tied in there, so let me grab some scissors. So there's a zip tie in the front. Zip tie in the rear. So you pop that off. Oh, and there's all the goodies. So let's check it out first. So it does come with some different uh, bumper options here. So I guess probably when you run different bodies and whatnot, different post mounts. And there's all the different little pills for adjusting the angles and stuff like that. And I think this was a wing. Yeah, different little duckbill wing. So it looks pretty cool. Always nice to have some options. And then here's all the added graphics. So that's pretty cool. You got the little see ya. Faster than you. Of course they have Arizona plate because they're from Arizona. And there's a whole bunch of info on setting up the gyro and whatnot in there. So yeah, let's take a little closer look at this bad boy. And there we go. So we got carbon fiber shock mounts, full carbon fiber chassis, upper area. There's the gyro right here. Uh, I got servo up top right here. And the motor is in the upright position right now. You can do it in two other locations. You can do it down low in the middle. Um, kind of see the area here where you fit it. We got the ESC in the back here. Got a cool little diffuser going on. And from what I saw, tons of angle there. So. so let's see how easy this body pops on there. Like 
like that. Easy peasy. Definitely is very nice look. Um, definitely gonna toss a couple of little stickers on there. See if I can get the little duck bill on there. Looks like there's pre-drilled hole, uh, pre pre-marked holes for drilling. You can see the motor there in the back window. That's pretty cool. And so these are just the headlights up here are just sticker design. The actual lights are down here lower. You can see it. You got a big old nice little front grill right here. Nice, nice little details in this thing. So this is the regular front here. Looks like a Go nice when you're trying to drift, won't get caught on anything. Got a cool little hook here. It's got a cool little scale style details. Definitely looking forward to trying it out. Um, we'll be doing like a little warehouse type shoot, a little outdoor shoot, and then eventually go down to Super G and see what the fat boy can really do. So this is our RTR kit. Uh, everything's ready to go. All you do is slap a battery in there, get a charger if you don't have a charger yet. It's uh, marketed to be at $3.99. I think it's a pretty good deal. Hit the market. Um, let's see, the body sticks in there real well. So that's one of the newest things is the little body mounting kit there. The steering angle. Got a cool little mounts here in case you do bump and rub everybody. It's uh, fully adjustable, tons of little mounts here for uh, adjusting camber and whatnot. And it does have different pills you can put in here, angle your arms differently. So there's a lot of adjustments you could do with this thing. So it's definitely a good little base for getting everything going. I think it's got pretty much everything you really need. There's all the adjustments are already there. You can get dialed into what area you're gonna go drift in and whatnot. So I'm not the biggest drifter yet, but I do have a couple buddies that are real big into it and I'm gonna have them help me set it up and uh, see how it rips. So stay tuned for some footage.